The Troy Trojans are next on the docket. Uh, Troy finally got rid of Chip Lindsey. And I had been talking about that for a long time. If you ever watched the Bet US College Football Show when I was betting against this team, etc., uh, that was a big reason why. Um, just not not great. They went four and nine in one score games in his tenure in three years. They had more talent than pretty much everybody that they played in the Sun Belt for the most part. Uh, it was it was pretty ridiculous. But when you look at what John Sumrall is taking over. Number 13 in returning production. They have got the number 13 roster strength defense in the country. And yes, that is not a typo. Uh, Number 13, as far as talent goes, you look at what they did last year on defense. They were number 26 in PBA per drive, number 18 in rushing success rate allowed, number 37 in passing success rate allowed. The defense was pretty good. If Chip Lindsey was supposed to be an offensive coach, and their offense was number 14 in PPA per drive. That's absurd. Uh, Joe Craddock is the new OC. He was the OC for Chad Morris at SMU and at Arkansas. When he was hired at SMU, he was 29 years old. He was the youngest coordinator in NCAA history. It did not work out for him. <laughs> like He did okay at SMU, did not work out at Arkansas. Uh, Winton was a position coach, and now he's going to take over the Troy offense here for John Sumrall. Offense went three and out on 38% of their drives. That's number 119 in the country. You can't get going if if you don't start, right? If you don't start off with a big play here or there, you don't make 10 yards in your first three plays, most of the time, that's going to bite you. And that's what happened to this offense. Uh, They were incredibly predictable. Hopefully, Craddock can do something about that. There are a lot of big play options for the quarterback, Gunnar Watson, this year. Running backs, Vidal and Woods. Uh, the wide receiver, Johnson, of course. Almost anything is going to be better than what they were last year. The biggest piece is going to be getting offensive line to run block better. They got four offensive line starters back. They were number 118 in rushing success rate last year. They should never be that bad, right? So, I don't know. We will we will figure it out. But... Um, it, moving on, the defense, this is what I'm very big on. The former Army co-defense coordinator is uh, Shiel Wood. He's going to be the new defense uh, defense coordinator. Defense number 11 in returning production, number 13 in roster strength. Again, defensive ends Solomon and Jabuner. Uh, defense tackle Cholo had 34 tackles for loss and 22 sacks last year. The linebackers in the secondary are talented and they are proven. And Bill Conley said it best. He said they're speedy and they are aggressive. And this unit is awesome. I think that they are going to have a big time turnaround. They went five and seven last year. Uh, Post game win expectancy said that they should have been about that 4.91, 7.09. Projected SP plus this year is six and six. I like them better than that. I think they're going to go over. Uh, This team, you know, again, one of the more talented in the Sun Belt. Like their overall roster strength is number 49. That's it. The team that won the uh, the division last year. Let's go back and look up at uh, Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana, number ninety four roster strength, number ninety nine Texas State, number one twenty seven ULM, number ninety eight South Alabama, number one hundred five Arkansas State. Troy is so far above everybody else in this division. It's not even close. Um, Lindsey couldn't turn it into wins. Maybe Summerall can. Maybe he can. Defense shouldn't be an issue at all here. Uh, can Craddock figure out how to make the offense click? I mean, there's plenty of weapons. Uh, he he knows how to run this offense. The offense was the biggest issue last year. Penalties and turnovers were not a problem. Um, find weapons, put up points, period. Like, that's how you do this. So I, I'm going to trust John Summerall here to have a pretty big first year. Uh, I think they're going to go 8-4. and four, Losses to Ole Miss at App State, at South Alabama, and then to Army. Uh they could win any of those. They could lose a couple of the other ones. You know, I've got them winning at Louisiana. I've got them winning. Uh, I've got them winning over Marshall at Western Kentucky, etc. Like I think, I think we're going to be all right. I think I think this team is going to be pretty good. So that's the direction that I'm going with the Troy Trojans. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.